Okay, so... So we are in complete uh, disaster mode, as you can see right now, but before we do a quick video, let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. I wouldn't call it clean, but I would call it better. The biggest issue is I am just, space is at a premium right now. Uh, but now that we've got that done, brings us to our next item, these. So let's get into them. All right, so this is our first sponsored, um, I don't know if you want to call it a paid sponsorship, but I got them for free. Uh, they are from KZ Headphones, and well, they sent me three different pairs. I haven't really covered it much in this vlog, but music is far and away the biggest part of my life. Uh, you can see a drum set kind of back here. I don't really play much anymore, especially I feel like I'm polluting the air because it's so ridiculously loud, uh, but listening to it is not an exaggeration when I say 24 hours a day, nonstop, I'm listening to some sort of music. So, I went looking to review some headphones. I contacted KZ Headphones and they were more than happy to give me a pair to do an honest and open review on them. Uh, so let's open up this package, which by the way, it is a pretty awesome package that they sent. Ta-da! So first, we have... These are the KZ ZS1s. So next in here, these would be the KZ ED9s. And we have the KZ EDs. First up, we have the KZ EDs. The first thing that I noticed with these is I absolutely love the cord on them. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it, it's kind of hard to focus on it, but the cords going, whoops. I love the cord on these headphones right here. Uh, it's super thick. They're thick without being rigid. As you can see, they do bend and have a lot of play in them, which is nice because I hate when you're kind of battling with the cords the entire time you're trying to listen to stuff. Uh, another awesome thing about these is that they do have a built-in microphone with a single button on there to take in, uh, and to answer and to end calls, which I did like as well. As far as the design on these, I do love the drum appearance on them. I love the mesh back on them, which is kind of hard to see in detail on this. And let me go ahead and even the part that you're never gonna see because there's an ear cushion on there it they took care of like it's all metal construction nothing on this is plastic with the exception i guess of this part right here but you don't want that rigid because it'd break off uh so yeah i i do like these now as far as the sound quality they sound great if you're not looking for a ton of bass the the bass leaves a little bit to be desired for me i listen to mostly house music and for me, the bass is the biggest thing. I'm not just a super bass and I don't think the bass has to be over the top, obnoxious. I like a good amount of bass though in any kind of music. For me, it's, it's what brings the music to life. It's what makes the music physical. You, f you hear all the other sounds, but you feel the bass. And I, these just left a little bit to be desired. But if you're not big on bass, and or if you listen to music that's not super bass heavy you'll love these they have great mids and great highs 
Uh, to me, though, without the the bass really being there, it it kind of left something to be desired. Kind of like if you had a really high end stereo, you had got tons of money into the speakers, but then never really set the equalizer. You kind of just left it flat. It kind of did that for me for the bass. I'll definitely be keeping these around and using them uh, repeatedly. I I, I I don't dislike them. So, next we're gonna step up to the big brother, the KZED9s. Uh, these ones right here are far and away my favorite earbuds I have ever used. And I'm not saying I've used, I've used a ton of earbuds. I'm not saying I've sampled a ton of high-end ones, nothing like that. But the bass from these is absolutely ridiculous. And I don't mean overwhelming, obnoxious, like head-pounding bass. I mean clear, crisp, smooth bass. The best example I could find for that on these was listening to the trailer for the movie Legend. There's one scene in it where the bass hits hard and these sound like you're in a theater with a 9,000 watt stereo system. Like it, 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 it's, it's almost like an illusion, an audio illusion because you expect to feel the bass that you're hearing. And it's not just that there's so much of it, but it sounds like it's resonating. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't know how they accomplished it. I think part of that may be from what I was talking about being a one of a kind thing I've never seen in any other headphone. And what it is, is if you look at these, they have what is called a tuning nozzle. So if you unscrew this, oops, there is a tuning nozzle in there. Uh, it comes with multiple ones. Let me go ahead and remove them from the earbud so you can see what I'm talking about. These are the tuning nozzles. It's kind of hard to see. This one has a mesh covering over it, and my camera, this camera will not seem to focus uh, up close on the front facing camera for whatever reason. Uh, but these ones have a mesh covering over it, and as you can see uh, through it, they're, it, they're just completely open with a mesh covering. These ones are supposed to give it a more. I guess live sound a more uh, it gives it definitely more highs and mids uh, it gives it a very clean and crisp sound however these ones that you see right here have a mesh in that end and what looks like a black foam of some sort in this end they give so much bass it's absolutely ridiculous and I don't mean just overwhelming, like, 415s in the trunk, just obnoxious bass. I mean clear, crisp, extremely tight bass. I definitely prefer these ones, the, uh, the ones with the black mesh in them, versus the ones with just the simple mesh covering over the front. If, if you listen to bass-heavy music, house music, which for me is what I listen to most of the time, it gives it such life. It gives it very tight, punchy, responsive bass. And the best part about having that much bass, or I guess about these headphones having that much bass, is in no way does the bass cover anything else. It doesn't sound muffled. It doesn't cover up the highs and the mids. Whereas if you put in just your average headphones and crank up the bass, you can tell it's sucking out a lot of the life from the highs. This doesn't do that, and I don't get how they accomplish that, but kudos to them for doing it, because I absolutely love them. And like I said, these are my favorite earbuds I have ever listened to, and I don't, I'm not an audiophile. I can't say that I've tried Bose ones. I've tried, uh, I mean, I've got, I've got some uh, uh, JBL ones around. Nothing special, just uh, I've never gone specifically looking for high-end earbuds. But of the earbuds that I've listened to, these are by far my favorite and they've become my daily driver. The one drawback I would say I found on them is I, I do miss having the microphone. I, I like being able to take my call, stop real quick, uh, maybe change songs, whatever it is with that. With these, without having the microphone or any sort of controls on them, if I'm listening to music at work, I get a call, I gotta stop, unplug them and take my call. Uh, that kind of bothers me. That's really the only downside I've found. 
the chord itself is really long. It's that it, it's kind of on par with the KZ EDs that I just show you. It doesn't have this is the KZ ED with the cool twisted uh, translucent uh, wire. This doesn't have the twisting, but it is translucent. It is thicker. It is heavier. I I, I like how sturdy they are, and you get plenty and plenty of cords, so I don't have to worry about it being too short. I, I'm six foot five, so I'm a giant. And the worst thing is when they're just a little bit too short. So every time I take a step, if it's in my right pocket, every time I take a step with my left foot, my right foot's back, and there I kind of have to pull every time I take a step. I hate that, and that drives me nuts. And as much as I wear button ups. I hate using the pocket on the shirt. It's That feels like a grandpa thing to do. Everyone has the grandpa that has the shirt pocket full of n pens, notepad, watch, fucking car keys, and everything else you could put in there. Uh, I don't like doing that. But uh, I love these headphones. So they are, of all of these, I will say they are by far my favorite ones. So next we have the KZ ZS ones. These are the KZZS ones. You may be asking yourself, "Hey Tyson, why do they look? Why are they so giant? Why do they look so crazy?" I'm, I will tell you, audience. Let me explain why they look so crazy. What you see here, see how wide that is, and let me see if I can grab a light to show you. All right. So I don't know how well this shines through, but if you can see, look closely, there is actually two speakers in each earbud. And the reason for that being that each earbud has its own internal subwoofer. That, I've never heard of that in an earbud at all. I was so stoked to get these, and then a little let down when I actually listened to them. Uh, they sound decent, but they do have a very kind of loose bass tone to them. It's not super tight, super responsive, like the KZ ED9s. Those... I loved. These are kind of, I don't want to say overwhelming bass, it kind of is, but everything, it's kind of muffled. It's almost like if you had a speaker box and you put two 12s in it, and then on the top of that speaker box, you also put your six by nines. Those six by nines don't stand a chance against the push and the pull of those two 12s on the side. And I think that's what's happening with these. They the bass really kind of covers everything else and not drastically but enough that it's not as it's not the best sound but if you are a super bass head if you love dubstep if you love hard style drum and bass they, you'll like these they, they weren't my favorite in comparison to the ed9s but if if i just had gotten these i'd be stoked to get these they're better than your factory Samsung headphones. They're better than uh, a lot of just cheap, uh, I guess just generic earbuds. They are better than that. I'm not saying they're crappy, but I guess I was a little spoiled by the ED9s. These just didn't have that same responsive bass to them. Another, it, it's a plus and a minus, I guess, is see how this is shaped to your ear right here. They it's completely flexible. You can do whatever you want with this. Uh, that's kind of neat. It makes it so you can really make them comfortable in your ear. But because of that, I can spend a lot of time fidgeting with them, trying to get them perfect, get them comfortable. Once you get them comfortable, they feel amazing. They almost feel like they're not there, even as big as they are. They, they, they are insanely comfortable. But I'm kind of OCD. I will fidget with something. If I, if it can be fidgeted with, I'll fidget with it, especially if I'm thinking about it. If I'm thinking about, oh, I wonder if it's in right, I'll spend forever trying to get it right instead of just leaving it alone and letting it be. But a compensating factor to that, I guess, would be these that it comes with right here. These actually simply slide on to uh, the wire, the flexible wire part like this. And as you can see there... Whoop, I kind of misshaped them uh, while I was bending them around. There we go. Uh, so it just kind of fits on like that. And it makes it more like a behind-the-ear kind of headphone. It, uh, it, 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 They are comfortable, though. I mean, that is the biggest plus, I will say, on these. They are super comfortable. But as far as sound quality, I could not beat the KZ-ED9s. So those are my thoughts on... 
KZ headphones on their KZ EDs, the KZ ED9s, and the KZ ZS1s. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and be sure to add me on Google+. So, I will see you guys next time.